Welcome to the Superstition Wilderness, just outside of Apache Junction. Patrick and I had something bigger planned for today, but last night we changed our minds. So we decided to come out here. We're gonna hike out and climb Palomino Mountain, and then maybe do a few other high points. So we'll be heading right on the Dutchman Trail here. Left is the Second Water Trail, which leads out to Battleship Mountain. These rock formations out here are really nice all over the place here. Tons of different little rock spires and balanced rocks, arches, things like that. Well, here's our first really good look at Weaver's Needle. And then we think up here is Black Mesa or Black Top Mesa. There's two different ones. Some Black Mesa up there and then Palomino is probably approximately in that direction behind that peak somewhere. We think we can see Palomino Mountain now but it's kind of tough to pick out. But hopefully about another mile and a half. Shouldn't be too much further to the base of Palomino Mountain. This is really not much of a mountain in the grand scheme of things. Hopefully it'll provide at least a little bit of climbing for us, but doable climbing. That's it right in the center. It kind of blends in with the other mountain further back, but it's the one right in the middle now. Okay, so there's a little bit better look at Palomino Mountain. I'm not sure actually which one's the true summit. Um, maybe the point right in the middle. Anyway, we're gonna head off trail right here. Here's a nice little canyon at the base of Palomino and a wash here. We may just go into the canyon and then try to go up or just head up this way to the side here in the next couple minutes. Beautiful area down here. And we're in the canyon. Actually noticing some rock cairns now. There's one there and then there's another one right there. Yeah, there's actually been a pretty nice use trail right here. And it's well marked with a lot of rocks, rock cairns, piles. We're getting there now. Some nice looking red rocks there. And the route is still very easy to follow. It's pretty nice. Okay, there's the arch that we could see from below. We're almost at the top of the canyon. So I've been coming up this way on the trail. That point over there could possibly be higher than this one. This may be higher. So I may be on the true summit of Palomino Mountain. Patrick's exploring over there a little bit. I may go try that other point here pretty soon, but I guess I can call this the summit. It looks pretty similar to the other point, if not higher. It's a quiet morning, a little cloudier than it has been. I'll get a few close-ups of some notable mountains here, including the Four Peaks, which I just passed. I think over here, this one is Black Top Mesa. And then Weaver's Needle over there. So we're almost at five miles, two hours and seven minutes. I told Patrick it would be about a 10 mile hike. I was hoping it'd be less, but it always is further than you think it's going to be. Okay, there's a look at Battleship Mountain out there. So I think that was our last notable trip out here. We've been in the area a few times just doing some little peaks, but not really back into the actual superstition wilderness. That's Battleship Mountain. And then four peaks over here. So I may just be seeing uh, Amethyst Peak and Sister Peak, I think. Because we're probably almost directly south of the range. See, I think Amethyst Peak on the right and then Sister Peak on the left. Well, we're going to head over to the other peak again. Just give it a shot if we can. Patrick's coming up this way. Just Right below him, off to the left, there's a 
cliff, but it's far enough away to where you have a decent amount of room. It doesn't make you feel scared or anything. And then just behind me is the summit. So there's the other point over there, and this one almost certainly is higher than that one. At least it looks like it. Okay, a true summit of Palomino Mountain here. Doesn't look like much of a mountain from further away, but once we got into that little canyon below and then started working our way up the Use Trail following the rock piles, it actually was really enjoyable. It kind of reminded us both of a section of the Oregon Needle, which was you know, just steep and loose, kind of walking through vegetation and climbing up the rocks. It was really nice. Yes, yeah, so we changed our minds about 7.30 last night. We're gonna put off what we were gonna do today until probably not this coming Monday, but the next Monday. Yeah, there's a cliff a little ways to his left. He's good. And we're almost out of the canyon now. We're done with the descent. So we have a flat stretch off trail, back to the trail. We're deciding whether or not we head up to Black Mesa. We're gonna keep going up the trail a little further and then make a decision. Okay, we're gonna go for Black Mesa. So we'll start heading up off trail here somewhere. And I think the summit is further back there. But well, we made it to the summit of Black Mesa. A lot of fire damage coming up, so it's pretty nice walking through it, actually. A lot of saguaros up here. We're hoping we can just hop off right down here, but there may be a cliff, so we may have to head further north or back the way we came. Yeah, this is the summit of Black Mesa. A lot of burn areas north of here. A lot south too. It looks like a part of the entire backside of the Superstition Front Range was burnt. So there's Weaver's Needle. Yeah, it looks like a lot of area over there is burnt. It's probably hard to tell on camera. But... All right, well, we found a place where we can exit the cliff, hopefully. It looks like it's okay. Just gonna have to be careful. All right, we made it now safe and sound. And now it's just time to get back to the trail and then head back to the trailhead. So the summit of Black Mesa is just right up there, but mostly cliffs. So we were able to come down that break. We came down from up there, walked in the wash for a little ways, which is down here, and then came up to the trail right here. So back in this direction should be probably less than two miles and maybe half an hour or so we can be back. Here's another burnt area. All right, we're back at the trailhead. It's a 10.35 miles almost and almost five and a half hours. All right, signing off from the First Water Trailhead here in the Superstitions. Hopefully, be back out again in about a week.